Hello. Hello, everybody. It's Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations, and I thought I'd come on and do a what's in my bag or what followed me home from Joann's. So this tote followed me home from Joann's. They have some new totes in. Um, these cost you about a $1.99 shopping bag. It's a reusable shopping bag, basically. And I saw this one, and of course it had to come home with me. It says, home is where the cat, your cat is. It should say cats. I might have to put S here. So let's see what's in my bag. I'll set it down here and we'll pull things up. Excuse the mess in the background. Let's pull you closer here. There we go. I can't see chat. Hang on. I'll get it where I want it. There we go. And you're crooked. Why are you so crooked? Come on now. Sit up. Here we go. Well, eh. anyway, what's in this bag? Well, let's see. We'll start with some patterns I picked up at Joann's. They were, I think, 99 cents or $1.99. I don't remember. But anyhow, I got this one, Simplicity. It says R11321. Hi, Brenda. But the actual pattern number, if you go and look it up, is... S9469. And it's a blouse pattern with kind of a bohemian flair with the puffy sleeves and the keyhole. I always go for things with V-necks because it's slimming. So I got that pattern. And I think uh, Dory picked this up too at D and Dory. They showed their pattern haul this morning. And then um they were saying quick sew is going away. So if you want a quick sew pattern, you need to find it on sale and see if they still have it. Um, you won't be able to get them. But I picked up this neat bag pattern. I'm hoping I didn't already buy this. But if I did, I can give one away. But I just love the little square box type totes there. So that's why I picked that one up. Again, these were all the on sale. And then they've gotten to where they were doing quick sew just the craft patterns, but I did find this in the drawer. It's quick sew 3871 and oh, I'm sorry. This was on the rack R10826 and the quick sew rack at Joann's was almost empty. Let me see if it shows. It's quick sew 4368. If you want to look for that number, 4368 for this one. And this one's 3871. Just a basic, quick slip on sundress. This is my go to uniform of the summer here in South Carolina. So I will be making some of those very soon. And then this one I just bought because it's retro. Um, let me look and see what the regular number is. Somebody's already looked and turned it upside down, so I have to pull it out. Um, let's see. Simplicity 9464. It's a 1940s pattern, a re-release type situation, but I thought it was really cute. I love this neckline here. The square one is cute too, but I always like, I think they call this a sweetheart neckline. So I got that one. And then the last one I bought was this one. In the rack, it's 11330. And in the book and in the drawer, it is 9473. It's a dress and jacket pattern. And I thought this would be nice for Easter. And we've been invited to Scott Sisters in Atlanta for Easter. So I might make this up just to wear for the day. I mean, we won't be going anywhere except her house. But I thought, isn't it really cute? And it's got a V-neck version here. But I would do the V-neck like this. So it's sleeveless and then just make the little jacket to match. That way I can take the jacket off if I get too hot. Hi, Pam. Just showing the... I only got one, two, three, five patterns this time at Joann's. Um, I really didn't go in there to get patterns. I didn't. I went in there to get um, some novelty print while it was 
40% off over the weekend because I want to, I don't know if you can see, I've got a plastic cover on my serger and I have a, a cover for my machine as well, but I sewed a cover for it using closet cores, serger and sewing machine cover pattern. And um, let me grab that real quick. Hello, Mr. Cole. It's got stuff in its pocket. Let me unload the pocket here. So this is the closet core cover. And I had this fabric from years ago when I used to work at Joann's. It's got cats in a sewing room. And how fitting is that? And then I lined it with paw prints there and there. And it just fits on your, your machine so easy. And I just custom fit mine to fit my old machine. And I put the pocket toward the back. So if I put something in the pocket, the table kind of holds it up. But I wanted a fabric cover for um, my serger there. And they didn't have, of course, that fabric. So I can't matchy match. But they did have some sewing themed. And this is the one I got. It's on. It's hard to see here because I got the curtains open. But this is a really light yellow. But isn't it an awesome selection of sewing, sewing things? And um, hi, Joyce. I'm going to go in my stash and I'm going to see if I've got a just a little teeny, what do they call them? The little floral prints. And I'm going to use those as my liner. I want flowers on the inside. And I like to line these. I know you don't have to, but I like to cover all those seams. I guess I could cover them with bias binding but i can fully line it just as easy so i'm going to fully line this a ditzy print that's what i'm thinking a floral ditzy and a small yellow flower to line this and i probably won't put the pocket on the serger cover it'll probably just be the cover but i got a yard of this one because they were um um 40 off and then I, you guys that are know me from being on this channel, you know I'm kind of a nut over gnomes. So in the novelty, they had this. And I'm going to make myself a summer top. I know it's goofy, but if I make um, like a bib overall, I wear mostly shorter dresses with shorts underneath. That's my go-to costume. Um, but this would be cute if I make that denim um, skirt. I don't have the pattern handy or I'd show you. It's um, like bib overalls, but it's a skirt. And I got that fabric from Fabric Mart not long ago that's in the denim. And I thought make a, a simple sleeveless shirt or maybe short sleeves. I'm not one for long sleeves. I just don't like things on my forearms. If I have a shirt that's long, it's shoved up short all the time. So let me, let me grab that denim because I think I know where that is. And this is going to be perfect for that. Um, I have the sticker for this somewhere because, you know, Fabric Mart tells you the content and everything. But this is a really lightweight denim that will be perfect for the dress bib overalls. But see, if I put this behind that, won't that be cute with just the little gnomes peeking out here and there? So I got two yards of this. from Joann's. It was 40% off and I will pre-wash because I don't want anything to shrink. And then this was from Fabric Mart and this is going to be the, the dress bib thing that I got the pattern for. It's also a simplicity. And I think Dee and Dory, one of them bought the pattern I want to use for this that I already own, but they bought one of those. And then the last thing I got was this um, remnant of the it says wood white linen look solid, 52 inches wide, viscose and linen. And I got this for our stitch along with Carol. And Carol, if you're watching, I hope you get feeling better. She she canceled her live yesterday morning and this morning because she's not feeling well. So y'all keep, keep Carol in your thoughts and prayers. 
And I'll get rid of the label now that I told y'all. But I thought how fun this would be to stitch on compared to that sheer stuff I'm using that I got at the thrift store. And this was a remnant, so I didn't pay full price for it. I think this will be so much easier. And it's a little not as see-through. I know, Pam. I see. Pam likes to make bibs, too. I just like something that I can slip on and go. I don't I don't want to fuss with it. And I will pre-wash this, even though it's for sti hand stitching anyway. Um, I also want to do a quick thank you to Journey. Journey sent me some things off my... Hang on. I'm going to put these... So I remember that these need to be pre-washed. I'm going to put them back in my, my new bag that says... Home is where the cat, your cat is. And then I've, I've, I've um, set up that Trello so I can scan my patterns in. But I have so many patterns. I keep putting it off and then buying more patterns. So I'm doomed. Anyway, <laughs> Journey went in on my wish list because my birthday is Tuesday. And um, she got me and sent me the Mystical Stitches book. So thank you, Journey. And what I'm doing now, if somebody sends me something off my Amazon wish list, if you fill in the gift thing, I'm going to start taping it into whatever was sent to me or on the bottom of this box. So Journey sent me these two items for my birthday. Thank you, Joyce. And then these are little teeny paper clips shaped like cats aren't they cute and what was funny is ann says wait i have some of those she had the dogs so i thought that was funny so those are the little paper clips and the and the book so thank you very much journey um scott also got me the variety pack of um applicators for the pan pastels so now i will probably start doing some th videos on using pan pastels and getting used to using them i've never used them that much i've had a couple sets for a couple years been waiting on the applicators so now i have the applicators and scott also got me some new watercolor brushes so which i might share some with my mom if i go up to visit and take her some supplies. So we'll see how that goes. So, yeah, I can't wait. I I think I'm going to make, for the, the top, there is a, let's see, it was um, Michelle at Sew, Sewing Bunny did a top. Uh, maybe a year or so ago and I went I had bought the pattern because of her blouse and now I can't remember the name of the designer but she, she the designer has a channel of her own and it's kind of retro oh what is her name she does kind of retro 50s stuff where the, the collared shirts that kind of fit in at the waist and then she'll do like she has a video on the picnic skirt and tells you how to, to draw up your own pattern to make a picnic skirt. Oh, I can't remember her name. I don't cut my patterns out. I'm a tracer. I was a pattern cutter, but now I trace because I'm grading between sizes because I'm different sizes from the top to the middle, to the bottom. So I trace and grade out um, to make it fit me. And then sometimes I still have to add to the waist because I had a nine over a nine pound baby. One, one nine pound baby ruined my abs for life. So uh, Sandy, I can show you what I do. Um, it would be kind of, I don't know. We'll see. It might be a boring video, but it might not. Um, I just trace them and then cut them out. I just want to keep the pattern in case somebody I know 
wants it that's a different size than me because if you cut the pattern, then you lose the other sizes. And, you know, unless you have bought a bunch of duplicates, then you're you're basically cutting away money. So, and Pam's a, a tracer too. I just would rather take the time to trace it out and keep my pattern pristine. Also, if you make it and it's something you don't want, um, you decided it's not for you, you could sell the pattern um, to somebody else and it's pristine. So if they're a pattern cutter, they don't have to worry that I've already cut some of the pieces. I hope that makes sense. And everybody needs to understand that everybody's body's different and the pattern companies are creating the patterns for their size ranges and everybody's body is different. So most of the time, the pattern is not going to fit you straight out of the envelope. You're going to have to make some changes to make it fit your body because everybody's body's been through different things. I had one big baby. Somebody else might have had six average size babies. So, you know, and or an injury or something that could have caused a change in the shape of your body. Some people, as they age, they get that rounding it up here. Um, that's something I need to start keeping an eye out because, you know, how I get pain in my neck sometimes. I'm wondering if I have my spine is changing there. So I need to double check and see if I'm going to need to make that adjustment. Now, as far as doing adjustments and things, I am just learning as I go. And I don't. I don't necessarily follow the rules of how to make changes. I just keep making changes until I find what works for me. There are books. I have a couple of them. Sewing with Nancy. She has some great fitting, uh, pattern fitting things. She shows you how to, um, I think it's in her pattern fitting finesse book. She'll show you how to make the changes on your pattern by doing some pivoting things to make the pattern fit you better. And I would highly recommend her books and you can get those used um, really cheap. So um, Sewing with Nancy's Pattern Finesse. If you look that up on Amazon and then click on used books, you'll find it inexpensively and it would help you a lot. Yeah, they're guidelines. Hi, Beth. I don't know about y'all, but man, it's hot here today. I got the windows open and the house is open. Whew. Humidity's up too. And the um, carpenter bees are out. They've all come out. So every time we go outside, they come up in front of our face, go, are you rotten wood? Do I need to get and chew on you? And they're checking our house out. This needs to be the year we finish painting so that the, these bees will go away. Yes, and there are uh, YouTube videos with Nancy. She's She has passed away, for anybody that didn't already know that. But her videos are still out there. And I love sewing with Nancy. Some people don't like her. I don't know why, but I thought she had a lot of good information. Um, I did buy another book. Um, here, let me show you. These are where my sewing books are. This one's a new one for me, and this one's a new one for me. And then this one. I've been obsessed with trying to fit myself better, so I'm just going to recommend these. I haven't gotten full on into them, but they looked like really good books when I saw them on other YouTubers' channels. This is The Act of Sewing by Sonia Philip. Philippe. Um, it has some patterns in the back too. See, there's a pattern envelope. And then I got this one ahead of the curve. This was for curvy girls that, um, have curves and shows you how to get rid of, you know, pants that are too tight in the butt and so, or too droopy in the butt. And then this one's the complete photo, perfect fitting guy. So those are three books there. Did you want something? 
droopy in the butt. Droopy in the butt. Your pants are droopy in the butt. Scott's losing weight. <laughs> so anyway, I'll list these books in my description box. I don't want to stay on long. I just really wanted to just share what I picked up at Joanne's. Hi, Christopher. Um... Some uh, that I don't know if everybody's um, signed up for the all recipes, but they just released a recipe called oven roasted Parmesan potatoes. That sounds good. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, he's already gone. He's he's came in. He looked. He went. He commented. He left. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm not sure if anybody's on. Um, I don't know if this will show or not, but I'm going to show my Hawthorne cherry tree out front. Hang on. Up you go. Can you see the Hawthorne cherry tree? It's just starting to bloom. See the white blooms on it? When it gets fuller, I'll take a picture. You can hear the birds singing. I filled the feeders today. So I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. If you have time, if you could leave a comment, I'm hearing that that's all important, that the most, the chat is wonderful, but people coming back and leaving comments really affects how's, how they find us on YouTube. So I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.